What's going on guys? I am Matthias. Uh, sorry I haven't vlogged the past couple of days. Um, been doing some stuff, um, finding, about, finding out some answers about my, my leg and uh, the issues I've been having with that. Um, so I've, I've got a little bit of an update for you here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I had complained about my leg and like stabbing electrical pain in my leg and had no idea what it was. I had gone through so many different things. So I had, I had an EMG, which is a nerve test, which is where they shock multiple parts of your body, put pins and needles in you, and, and uh, pretty much test the, uh, the passageways of your nerves. So for instance, they measured the electrical activity in the muscles and nerves in my left leg compared to my right leg. My left leg was significantly less. I'm slightly numb in my left leg. And I'm getting like weird pain. Like my my foot just fell asleep when I was walking. Like what? Your foot's only my foot has previously only fallen asleep when I, you like you sit on it funny or stuff like that, or you like cut off circulation. But like <laughs> it's just like weird tingling, stabbing pains. Just like anyways, all that stuff. Um. So what the nerve test told me was that I have two pinched nerves somewhere in L5 and L4. Um, so what that means is I could potentially have a bulging disc or a herniated disc and it's common, it's common, but it's tough. It's tough because it's going to definitely alter my lifestyle and uh, I don't know. It's one thing to, it's one thing to go through pain. It's crazy because like it's, the pain isn't that big of a deal, okay? I can get, I can get past the pain, like I can will most of it away. Um, you know, like the lower back pain and stuff like that, because that started coming on, which evidently comes on about uh, a month or a month or two after you injure your back, and uh, that's not that big of a deal. Like I can pretend that that's not there. Um, I don't know. I'm just like more concerned that it's gonna like alter the way I interact with my daughter, because healing my back, healing healing a bulging or a herniated disc takes like four to five months to get it back to where it was, and then for the next two years, you're 85% likely, or you're 85% more at risk to have it happen again. So essentially for the next two years, I can't lift anything, bend over, or, well not the next two years, but the next four or five months, I shouldn't be like bending over or doing anything, at least until I don't feel pain in my leg or back for like a month. And that's crazy, that's crazy. And so I'm, I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out all the ways that I can pro possibly expedite the healing process, which is, I don't know, I don't think you can do that with a herniated disc or anything like that. Today I'm going in for an MRI before we go to San Diego. Literally right after the MRI we're going, we're driving straight to San Diego, which is exciting. So I don't have that much anxiety for the MRI because I know right after. I'm looking forward to going to San Diego and spending time with my family and just hanging out and having fun. So looking to the bright side on that. I just, I hope I get, I don't know, I hope I don't get like too, too negative of a, uh, diagnosis here. I'm hoping, I don't, I don't really know much about how the back works or, it's surprising how little we know as humans about our own body. <laughs> Regardless, um, I'll let you know what we do find out uh, in about an hour or so. I'm gonna do my best to expedite healing as much as possible and do all the necessary steps so that by the time Luna gets here, I'll hopefully be able to interact with her and you know hold her and pick her up and stuff like that. I'll, I know I'll be able to hold her, but like picking her up out of the crib, I'm sure that's a no-no for my back. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure. I'm sure we can uh, figure out solutions and make things work. I don't know. I guess I'm just paranoid. Hel talking to you guys helps a lot. I'm not gonna lie, um, because it like forces me to like to talk and to say things out loud. You know, because a lot of times. And this is what I this is what I suggest for you guys too. Even if you don't vlog and stuff like that. I would suggest that you talk to someone because voicing your fears, voicing like what's going on inside your head really helps you uh, really helps you understand what you're thinking and what you're going through and that maybe your fears are just kind of silly, just kind of crazy. Um, like saying that stuff out loud, like maybe it's not maybe it's not as serious, you know, maybe, maybe I'm going to find a way, maybe I'm going to, you know, make this work, but, uh, either way, either way, um, I'm not going to let it bring me down. <laughs>
Definitely not. Especially right before the Edge game San Diego. Come on. Although I probably have to be really careful <laughs> with that too. Oh well, I'll figure out a way to make it work. Look at all the stuff that we got here. We got some food, we got, I don't know, I'm so excited. Really? Yeah. Because he, he hasn't seemed excited. Well, I haven't days. seemed excited because I've had this, this, this spine thing weighing on my mind, but um, now that I'm gonna find out what it is and I'm gonna have a course of action, I'm gonna not hopefully feel as, uh, I'm gonna hopefully feel like I have a little bit more control, but we'll see. All right, just got out of the MRI, didn't find out anything because I thought we were gonna have an appointment with the doctor as well, but I guess the doctor schedules an appointment um, after the MRI, so. Uh, so I was like, you didn't see anything strange, did you? To the technician, and she was just like, I, I don't know, I mean, I don't know. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, but it was okay, it was, at first it was a little terrifying because it was like so confined and I'm like, I'm claustrophobic but only when I can't get out and she didn't like strap me down or anything like that. A minute or two in, I was like, okay, it was a 30 minute test. I know, I was like, how long is this gonna take? <laughs> and a minute or two in, I was just like, okay, this is gonna take forever if I don't meditate. So I meditated and it went by pretty quick. Um, I had earbuds in, so, or not earbuds, I had, uh, what do you call them, the cushion ear? ear things that block out the sound. Earbuds? Earplugs. Earplugs. I had earplugs and uh, I didn't hear too much noise. It was it was loud, but it wasn't too loud. So. And you could hear it on the other side of the wall. Oh really? On the other side of the wall no you weren't. Like, boom, You're sitting boom, a room boom. over. Really? Yeah, there's another room and then you. It was so loud. Oh wow. That's crazy. Anyways, nothing but fun on the horizon. Bye. Let's go to San Diego, babe. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Jinx, what? you owe me a Coke. What? You or a Zevia. <laughs> you owe me a Zevia. Oh, okay. I think we have like a little less than an hour to go and 53 I, miles. I just saw the, the ocean. ocean. The ocean, but now I can't see it anymore. Because you pulled out of the camera too slow. I pulled it out too slow. That's what she said. Look, and there are the nuclear power plants, I think. As far as I know, maybe I'm totally wrong. Guys, if you know what these are, if you know what these are, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they're nuclear. Nuclear. Look at these. Ow, oh, truck, get out of the way. You suck, truck. Oh, there are, see those things? Ah, oh, get out of the way, mound. There we go. There you go, you see these guys? What are those guys? I think they're nuclear power of some type. I'm not sure. We're finally here in San Diego. Drive wasn't too bad, it was nice. I think we made uh, some friends too. What's up little dudes? Hi little dudes. Are you waiting for me to feed you or what? Nope, okay thanks. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> All right, everyone arrived? Oh, we have it. What's going on, Dad? How long are you staying? Hey, uh, Dad. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nice. What are you doing back there, Amanda? I'm unpacking food. We got some nice wines to try. Jay Fred's out there prepping for some challenges we're gonna shoot tomorrow. What do you got giant going on? Beach ball. Giant beach ball, huh? <laughs> this is enormous. <laughs> How big is this, dude? I don't know, dude. It's enormous. It's enormous. <laughs> oh, man. Do you even think we're gonna be able to do this? Make a challenge out of it? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we want to do. <laughs> That's great. The crazy crew is here. They just arrived. What's up, dude? What you got there? Zevia, nice. One, get one free. Dude, where? Sprouts? That's yeah. awesome, dude. But you got the Zevia with caffeine, bro. No. Yeah, that's caffeinated. No, the, this one. No, this no. one's caffeinated. This one's not. Yeah, this one's. <laughs> you <laughs> stupid cow. Oh, these are the ones we <laughs> <laughs> One more for me, then. Girls, 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 are you excited? Do you like the beach? Do you, know, you know how I know you're on vacation mode? Sure you're not walking around, you're hovering around. I'm hovering, dog. <laughs> I'm in vacation <laughs> mode, homie. Vacation mode. So how long did it take you to get here? Three hours and 15 minutes. Three hours and 15 not minutes. Too bad. I mean, not too bad at all, dude. You guys thought it was gonna be five hours. No, that almost no, no. took, that only took like 20 hours, or 20 hours, 20 minutes more than me. 
No, like um, if we left by one o'clock, that's like the cutoff time. So we left like at one thirty. So we were like, Ugh. yeah, it's better to leave then than leave at seven o'clock. Yeah, then you and... still wouldn't even have been here because it's it's seriously it's six twenty five right now. Yeah. So. So boom. <laughs> How's it going guys? Day two of San Diego. My dad's trying to make himself breakfast and this is what happens when my mom doesn't make breakfast for my dad. His yogurt was frozen so he decided, hey, I'll put it in the microwave to defrost it. And this is what he has right now. Yogurt. <laughs> what is, what have you done? Half of it is water and the other half is frozen still. Hey, you gotta eat something. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what? Look at look at this. What on earth are you doing? I've never seen yogurt that runny before. That's what happens when you microwave it. Oh man. I'm not qualified. I'm not qualified. Okay, so in about an hour, Team Edge is going to be shooting some videos, five videos, and these videos are for the Edge Games. And what the Edge Games are, it's just a series of challenges, five days in a row, in a new location. That's the Edge Games. All the points that we take to the Edge Games, um, you can win the Edge Championship, and each Edge Challenge is worth two points, I think. Yeah, two points rather than the normal one point. So, that's it. So what you got there? <laughs> oh, granola. I want to put some granola. What in the world is this? <laughs> I'm going to put some granola in it. Okay, so what does it taste like though? Just watery yogurt? Well, I put a bunch of honey in it, so it tastes oh. like <laughs> this is This is a yogurt disaster. Amanda, do you remember when we did it, had a yogurt disaster? No. We actually vlogged it. You were, we were trying to make like yogurt ice cream and it was like some disaster. It was like a yogurt, I think the vlog title is called Yogurt Abomination. Oh, and I was trying to use the food processor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, it's getting make, better. I was trying to make sorbet. <laughs> it still looks horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just glad you didn't make food for me when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad mom did. <laughs> you probably would have been about three feet tall. <laughs> Hi! Alright, so, Jayford, you're gonna start blowing this up. Let's see. Do you know what this is, Ariana? A ball. A giant ball. How big is it? It's bigger than you. Is it's... it as big as God? No, it's not as big as God. He's bigger than everyone. It's bigger than my dad, though. Yeah, in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We can't play during, in the street, okay? Kick it back to the beach. Kick it back to the beach. Look at this thing. It's enormous, dude. It's enormous. They got this huge beach ball and um, it's deflating. Oh no, look! Guess who I found? What are you doing down there? She's oh, using it like it's a sleeping ba bag. <gasps> now she's gone! Where is Bella? Can I knock on the door? Knock, knock. Can I come in? Can I see your face? She must be sleeping. It must be sleepy. Can you say hi to our vlog, Bella? She must be sleepy. Apparently she can't. <gasps> say hi! Hi. <laughs> Look how big this beach ball is, and it's deflating. It's like 12 feet in diameter. It's crazy! They were like, it kept, uh, since it's so windy out in the beach, it kept flying away, and we were hoping it wasn't going to go in the ocean, and thankfully it did not. But right now, I think the girls are going to be going on a walk and possibly checking out the island shop because they have some really cute clothes in there. And like you guys know, I don't know if you've talked about this, but none of my clothes fit anymore because of Luna. And I've had to buy a lot of new clothes lately. So I'm kind of uh, revamping my wardrobe just a little bit because I have nothing to wear. Oh, I look windblown. But hopefully I got a tan today, because all I was doing was sitting in the sun. I don't have any cover. <laughs> there goes Ariana. Because Bella's not giving me cover. 
No, it's just because you're sitting on too much of the ball. Whoo! Finished shooting all of the Team Edge Edge games. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. We shot five videos today. We shot an extra video. We came out with a victor. Um, can't obviously tell you who won the Edge games until uh, they're all up, but it's gonna be five videos in a row. Well, you, you probably already know about it. It's actually, when I upload this video, there's only gonna be one day left in the Edge game, so all these people already know. You already know. If you're missing the Edge games, you gotta start from the beginning, all right? But right now, what are we doing? Going to the bar and getting some We're drinks? We're gonna go down, it's not just a bar, it's a grill. Ooh. The girls are going with us. Cool. And we're just gonna watch the sunset and get, well, you know, not all alcohol drinks. Cause I don't think everybody wants one. Well, oh, you can't, goodness. you can't have one. No, I can't. You're all like, nice and cozy in your sweats. I know. You work really cool. I know. Okay. Well, so I was like, well, I'm gonna want some family pictures. I'm like, what? I just changed. <laughs> are you changing? Look, I, I my just did iPhone it. case oh. broke. Oh. So what? I just ordered a new I one, and, and it's really cute, guys. Like, <laughs> really cute. I gotta show you because this is Rifle right Paper Co. Okay. And so I got. Oh, where'd it go? I've always wanted a phone case like that. Isn't it cute? That it's got swans. Cute. How cute! I know it's super adorable. Like adorable. <laughs> what? Puppy, monkey, baby. Why are you saying that? <laughs> Is it day three? Is it day three? Day Technically three. day two. I this is like when you arrive, is that a day? Yeah, it takes Okay, so it's day three. Right We're going to breakfast right now with the family. Um this is their last day here. Um not our last day. We're staying a little bit longer. And we're going to the Fig Tree Cafe. Yeah, it looks cute. Looks really nice, all yeah. All of the, the normal places that his family has gone to forever are all closed. We had to find a bunch of new places. Yeah, yeah, we had to find a bunch of new places. Oh well, we'll see if this is any good. <laughs> what? Did you guys ever look at the wine dip? They were like, yeah. like, they were like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Jamaican. Yeah, it was like really oh, rich. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, I thought it was like some old <laughs> French. Yeah, the wine dip. And it was like. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at this place called the Fig Tree. Oh, I got sun yesterday. I got sun yesterday. I'm all red. I got a mocha here. Brian. Tastes good. You looked up all the dances? Yes. Uh, I got all of them. I the wine. Because you ordered. I looked up all the dances and put the music in. And I was wondering where you guys think it was, but like Jamaican music with the wine. I ordered just a standard classic practice. You know how I do. We're now taking a hoverboard tour around the premises. Don't roll over my foot, mister. You're getting close to me. Go, go away. <laughs> no, she's not moving. Oh, really? I thought you were inching forward. You really? I didn't even move my foot at all. I'm so dizzy now. So my my family decided to get a get one of those bikes and embarrass everyone. I don't have it. I'm surprised how many people you could fit on this thing. It's a four person bike. <laughs> are you guys excited? Wait, are yeah, you? Yeah, I am. Do you guys? <laughs> we're very excited. They were like, yeah, we're really, really excited. excited. So they had to kick Nan off here <laughs> because they said she was dead weight because she yeah. couldn't uh, pedal. Really? But yeah, guess, yeah. but guess like what? <laughs> That's what Nana said. What? <laughs> She's like, they kicked me off because I'm dead weight. But in reality, Brian had the parking brake on. <laughs> Yeah, she did. DEA dead. DEA dead. Yeah, you're really moving now. I can't even tell you're on that. I was like, so I was surprised, like, well, having Katie on there pedaling might have helped, but I don't think that much. This is the tennis court. Are you scared, Ariana? Are you steering? Ariani. <laughs> Ariani, are you steering? This is the tennis yeah. court. Alright, so we're riding over here, and like inside the little bay, there's like a lake here, and it's really cool because there's tons of like little remote control sailboats that all these people are doing. Check this out, it's really cool. So, all these people right here are like piloting these little boats, sailing these little sailboats. I think there's like Buoys over there too, like buoys right here. That is really awesome. I, I don't know if they're racing or not, but I mean, it's really slow to be racing. Am I right, guys? 
All right, I gotta catch up to these fools. Okay, so here we have some of the sailboats that are out of the water, and as you can see, the only thing that it looks like is remote controlled about these is the way the sails aim. So these people are all piloting these boats based on how they position the sails for the wind. Here's one of them right here on the ground. It's pretty big. Looks like it has a compass. Is that a compass on it? I don't know. Uh, I think it's just a. I think it's just an emblem. But uh, look at that. How cool is that? See, there's there's absolutely no little motor down there, and there's another one right here. Um, uh, and look at that. Look how. Look how quick they're moving. And they all are moving back this way. That's really cool. That's, that's pretty cool, huh? No motors on the boats, just the sails. That's pretty cool. Edge game. And <laughs> edge, edge game season two. Season two. Started with the most least exciting challenge. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, not if we put like weapons on the boats. We have motors on the boat. So. Yeah. Well, we can do that. Oh, I got it. I'm writing it down. I'm oh, writing yeah, it down. Write it down. Welcome to day... Three? Four? Three, four. I, f I lost track. <laughs> I, think I lost track. Four. Anyways, the family left last night. Yeah. And we're all alone. We're all alone for the next couple days. Um, and I just had this really weird feeling um, as the... As the maid service was cleaning up and, and walking out, I just realized that when my family's not here, this stuff doesn't look so good to people that aren't in the YouTube business. <laughs> Pointed directly at the couch. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing slightly. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll put them away. I, I wasn't, you know, we had a, a whole family of a whole here. family of people it didn't look so weird it was just it was just you know all the guys were shooting videos and we were outside all the time shooting videos but now that it's just us it definitely <laughs> looks weird um so i'm gonna put those away right now man and i are gonna go take a walk kind of chill for the day um my back has been killing me, me surprisingly too. it didn't hurt as much yesterday it hurt a lot when we were shooting the challenges naturally because they were super active and stuff like that but uh i think uh I think I'm healing because I haven't had that leg pain yeah. since since I learned what it was and was really conscious about, you know, taking not care yeah taking care of it and not uh, like bending over, overextending my back and stuff like that. My back pain is just because the baby's getting big. The baby's getting big, yeah. Apparently they go through a really big growth spurt between 16 and 18 weeks, and I'm 18 weeks tomorrow, and she has been very active. You're wearing those glasses real high up, girl. Because, because I don't have a nose bridge. <laughs> Here, you got it. Uh, no, I can't do go. that because they put, they put too much pressure on my nose and it gives me a headache. So I have. Your to nose gives you a headache. I have to wear them high, <laughs> even though it looks silly. <laughs> Man and I have been bad about vlogging lately. Yeah, we're just been kind of enjoying ourselves and. Well, that and and the pain. The pain. The, the pain. The pain of your pregnancy <laughs> randomly. Yeah. And the pain of my back and leg have been like ha distracting. <laughs> They've been distracting, yeah. But I mean, like, I don't like to vlog when I'm in pain, right? I don't think anyone does. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna like pull out the camera and be like, I don't feel good, guys. Because your <clears throat> your view of everything is like more negative. Yeah, your view of everything you is really want negative. To be negative. Yeah, exactly. Very good point. And like, I don't want to be negative. I don't want to like push negativity onto you guys. Um, so that's why there's been less vlogging is because like the times where I feel good. Oh, come on person. Really? What in the world? They're driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> and they double, they crossed the double yellow line. <sighs> Insane drivers. In San Diego, man, I noticed that uh, people legit just walk across the street whenever. They don't there's care no if there's a jaywalking charge. Yeah. They'll just walk. <laughs> Anyways, what I was gonna say was, lately there hasn't been much time where we of overlap where we both have felt good. Like, I'm not gonna pull out a camera when she's not feeling good, and she's not gonna pull out a camera when I'm not feeling good. Um, but right now we're feeling good. <laughs> 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 we just went and uh, got some pizza at this place at called- Pizza. Red House Pizza, and it was really good. If you guys are locals, or if you guys are traveling, if you guys are local Diego, in San Diego, yeah, check out Red House Pizza. Out. Really good, gluten-free pizza, gluten-free pasta. Yeah, really good too. Yeah, and like good prices. Really good prices. It was like 
crazy good prices. Well, like if you go during happy hour, which is like we had two, six. we had two pizzas, okay, two 10 inch pizzas and a beer, and the total came out to twenty bucks. He had the beer. I had the beer, obviously. <laughs> I, we should clarify that because someone's gonna be like, you know, you shouldn't drink when you're pregnant. Duh. <laughs> I left a good tip because uh, I don't want those people to go out of business by the next year I'm here. I want them to be here next year. My ears are popping like crazy. Yours aren't? No. Weird. Anyways, back home. Gonna do a bit of relaxing tomorrow. We're just gonna be laying on the beach. Maybe check out a donut shop or two. Yeah. Or two. Wow, I'm getting adventurous. Yeah, just no, one. I was like, okay. <laughs> just one donut shop. <laughs> oh, man. It's sad when the family leaves. We have a lot of fun with them. But yeah. uh, until they don't all have normal jobs, <laughs> it's just the weekend for them. That's true. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah, I worked today a bit too, so it's not like, I mean, I can do my job from anywhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, uploaded today. We, we both work, um, you know, even when we're on vacation, like I'm still like posting stuff on social media, which is a lot of fun. Which is a lot of fun. Doesn't mean it's not work. Yeah, exactly. Am I right? We're very blessed to be able yeah. to have this job, that's for sure. Yeah, we're very um, thankful. Very thankful. Um, but yeah, so gonna gonna go back to, not home. I always say home when I'm talking about I the know, hotel. Me too. Everyone's like, you're not going back home. You just went back to the hotel or the resort. The or place that we're staying. The place that we're staying. When I say home, just assume that's what I mean. Um, but we're going back there. Going back there. I'm probably gonna fall asleep. Oh, we're gonna watch the new girl. Oh my gosh, it's only 6 41. I thought it was like 8 o'clock. We went to bed. What time did we go to bed last night? Nine. Nine, <laughs> Nine o'clock. I woke up at 5 30. You did? I woke up at 5 30. You woke up? Well, that's like if we went to bed at 9 30 and I woke up at 5 30, that's like eight hours sleep. Yeah, but I was waking up at like six. Why are we talking about this? This is boring. I'm sorry, guys. What's up, guys? We're back at the hotel room, but we made a little stop at the shop. And Matthias informed me that he had never tried Dippin' Dots before. And Dippin' Dots are amazing. So there's this new flavor, Red Berry Sherbert Sour Patch. And he's going to try some. Your tummy. <laughs> your tummy is so big. <laughs> it was just what? popping out of your shirt. And that's like the first time I've seen it pop out of your shirt <laughs> like that. It was cute. Oh, you're going to, I'm supposed to try this now. Do it quick because I'm running out of battery. Do, I can't open it. How do they make it so the ice cream doesn't melt together? That's what I don't know. If you leave it out, will it melt together? Oh, look, it does melt it's together. It's starting wow. to melt. Answer to my question has been confirmed. Dippin' yeah. Dots. Look at that, that's what Dippin' Dots looks like. Oh, it's good. <laughs> How's the flavor? Funky. Yeah, you didn't get like a normal flavor. You should have gotten like mint chocolate or like just chocolate. It tastes like Sour Patch though. What does it taste like? Give me not sour. <laughs> yeah. Is there... it just fruity? I don't know about this. And I got myself a drumstick because drumsticks are awesome! Except for the fact this is vanilla and the best one is caramel. Caramel? Yeah. You mean caramel? No, caramel. You mean caramel? No, I'm being fancy schmancy. I'm caramel. Do you mean caramel? <laughs> you just dropped some. Okay, they're not. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> this is like the worst food for you. <laughs> this guy, he's just so good at dropping food on himself. I'm so. glad that was a positive light. I'm really good at dropping food. <laughs> Ooh, that bite was sour. Maybe you just needed to mix it. Can I try it? No. Come on. Okay, here you go. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why did you attack that spoon so oddly? Because <laughs> I don't want it to touch my teeth. <laughs> okay, so Amanda has this really weird thing where she can't I talk see. I about it in my 50 facts video. She hates it when teeth go into anything cold. So she's like, do you want a bite of my popsicle? <laughs> and then I take a bite and she's like, ah! So she was like this. Because <laughs> she didn't want it to touch her teeth. You had it on your lip, I was gonna eat it. Oh, this spoon is awkward. It's a it's soup a... spoon. Oh. But it's a oh. spoon they give you. Mm. Okay. Next day, 
morning time? Last day. Last day? Last full day. Last full day, yeah, tomorrow we leave in the morning. But uh, we're now on the opposite side of the bay. Um, I've actually never been over here. It's not, it's not that different than uh, the other side, but it's vacation, guys. <laughs> mocha is my jam. You have a mocha almost every morning. No, I don't. Not almost every morning. Well, Amanda is such a good coffee maker. You guys know this. Amanda makes her mocha um, with like, tell them how you make your mocha. I mean, it's like, it's not, it's not it's that it's healthy, free. but it's healthier. sugar free. It's, it's much yeah. healthier. Than if you get it at a coffee shop. And I get like, obviously decaf and stuff. So there's little caffeine. Yeah. But it's just something about coffee that's just like, makes it you feel warms good. Your soul. Warms your soul. That's a good. I didn't like coffee until I like started drinking specialty coffee, like regular coffee, like plain. Yeah, it's not my thing. It's not my jam. But um, we're going to go do a little bit more exploring, I think. Are we? Are we? So staying at this place, it's kind of incredible how many different ducks or how many different birds there are entirely. What's up? We got some friends over here. Uh-oh. Does he think he's uh -oh. going to come inside? <laughs> They're not scared by you, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is you gave that one bird food. No, 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 I just threw it on the ground. <laughs> and now, look at this, <laughs> look at this guy. What's up, dude? I don't have anything. <laughs> That's not true, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, Amanda gave this one bird food because it had a broken wing. It's out there. Where, I don't see it, I, I think it went to the left. I'm worried that bird's feet are like dinosaurs. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. This bird right here, what kind of what kind of bird is this? Look at those feet. It's incredible. It's like slightly webbed, but not. Like a duck is webbed, but that's like kind of webbed. This is like cat lady status, but with ducks. But with ducks. <laughs> okay, Amanda, you are the animal whisperer. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> Funny. They're just waiting. He's just straight up waiting. Look at this. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> I don't even know. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh look, they you do have bread. I have bread. They can smell that a mile all away. The way over there. I don't know. Look, we got more birds coming up over here. Go away. This isn't even nearly the amount of birds that we originally had. Oh yeah, that's gonna help. That's really gonna help. Whoa, <laughs> that one duck just ate it in one fell swoop. Oh, <laughs> now we got seagulls fighting out there. Oh, Good one, babe. <laughs> look, at this, look at this one. So we just came in from laying on the beach, which is probably good because it's starting to get cold out here. But look at all this fog, you can't see anything. Okay, yeah, seriously, like, Two minutes ago, like there, there was 100% visibility. There's like mountains and stuff back there that you can't see, and this is gonna go away soon. Oh my gosh, Look at that. it's insane. You can't even see that sailboat. Seriously, seriously, like three minutes ago, there was 100% visibility. Cause like three minutes ago, you were like, you were like, oh, is that smog over there? And I was like, I don't know. But now we know it's I, fog. I thought it was smog, cause I was like, it's so gray, it's disgusting. It's so gray. Oh Gross. Gosh, it's disgusting. You guys like his shirt? It's pineapple. It's a uh, so Seren Serengeti. That's what the brand is. If you guys want to look it up. But now we can we can almost not even see the other side. That's cool. I like fog. This is cool. I, I dig it. 100% dig. Ooh, she just pinched my butt, guys. You didn't see it, but she just straight up did it. Unacceptable decorum. Unacceptable vlog decorum. What? You heard me. Acceptable marriage decorum, though, is what she said. We are now at the uh, hotel or the resort, I guess, restaurant. One of them. And that uh, that fog followed us back. Yo, check it out. This is the marina. It's just like pretty cool view, huh? Amanda's got her oh, little heat lamp over there. This is like literally the best table in the house. Two heat lamps, waterfall, vina. Food. <laughs> Our whole vlog today, I swear, is about birds. Look at this bird. He's like mad dogging me for this burger right now. <laughs> bro, I'm not sharing with you, bro. 
I mean, I want to share with you, but that's frowned upon here. Oh, at restaurants, yeah. At restaurants, yeah. <laughs> he tucked one foot in, and he's like retracting his neck. <laughs> what a privileged bird. He's like, oh, it's cold out. It's like 60 degrees. <laughs> it is cold out. Oh, come about? on. Look at the fog. People right now are literally in snow. Well, their state has snow, our state doesn't. This is winter for California. <laughs> Back at the uh, little resort place, and there's supposedly a party going on, and as you can see behind me, there is absolutely, well, what is, what is, that's just a go-kart. Not a go-kart, but what do you call it? A, a golf cart, I guess? I don't know, it's like one of the uh, resort things. But it is so incredibly foggy outside that this party doesn't look like it's happening. No, it's gonna happen probably, but it's kind of weird. It's like already like eight o'clock and no one's even sat out yet. It kind of makes me sad because it's like, oh my gosh, they're gonna keep me up for hours. I guarantee you. Are there people over there? What, what are you talking about? No, there's, there's people over there. They're just not like over effective. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh. Crazy. There are people over there. There are people over here too. Look at them. You can't see anything. You can't, you legit can't see anything. Well, it's also dark. That probably adds to it. So yesterday was the last day. Right now we're packing up, ready to go home. Um, it's been a lot of fun, bittersweet. Amanda and I love relaxing beaches like this. Look at this guy. He's just straight up beached his boat and just chilling. What's up, dude? You just chilling. That's cool. I think at this point, Amanda and I are going to be getting an acai bowl and then driving home. Try, hopefully, hopefully going to miss traffic. Hopefully, going to miss some traffic. Um, what up, vlog? No one can see you. It's too dark. They heard you. They did hear you. <laughs> you have anything to say? It's been a good time. I wish I could stay on vacation. Yeah, vacation is nice. Well, and that is the end of our San Diego trip. Have you guys tried this? It's so good. What is it? Hemp lotion? Yeah, gross, I don't wanna get high. What? So good. <laughs> All right, what's the question of the day? Okay, question of the day. When you guys go on vacation, do you research meticulously what you're gonna do and do you actually do those things? Or you just fly by the seat of your pants? Because I research a lot and then sometimes we just never end up doing anything. <laughs> yeah, because we start relaxing and we're like, oh, this is this nice. Is nice. <laughs> Answer that down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you maybe not tomorrow because I'm uploading this the day I'm filming it right now. <laughs> So maybe we'll see you the day after tomorrow. Either way, have a good day. High five.